Did you know that you can list your products on Google completely for free? Well, the Google Merchant Center allows your products to appear in search results across Google so that your potential customers can see your product listings on Google and then click through to your website to purchase your products. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time here, thanks for joining me. Now today in this Google Merchant Center tutorial for beginners, I'm going to navigate through the process of setting up the Google Merchant Center so that your products can be listed and discovered on Google completely for free. Okay, so before you go ahead and launch into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into the Google Merchant Center. <music> Okay, so to get started with the Merchant Center so that you can list your products for free on Google, you need to head over to your browser and type in Google Merchant Center and locate this landing page, Google for Retail. Or what you can do is click the link in our description below this video and that's gonna take you here. Then simply navigate over to Get Started. Then here Google's gonna ask you a few questions to help you identify if the Google Merchant Center is right for your business. Simply navigate up to do you sell products online? If you do, go ahead and click on yes and then come down and add your website's URL. Remember you have to have a e-commerce business that sells physical products. So as you can see for the purpose of today's tutorial, I've gone ahead and added our Shopify store. Then come down to, do you have a brick and mortar store? I'm gonna go ahead and click on no, and then come down and click continue. Here, Google's gonna give you some information about the Google Merchant Center, show your products on Google for free. And as you're aware, Google does not charge you to list your site on Google search. And it's the same with your products. Your products can appear on Google search completely for free. Then you can navigate down, see where your products will show, your products will show across Google search, YouTube, images, and assistant. Customers will see your product listing on Google and then go to your website to buy. So again, you wanna make sure that you have your products listed on your website. Then simply navigate down to what you need. You need your own online store. You need to have an online store that accepts payments, has clearly priced products, offers returns, and includes your contact information. If your online store, your e-commerce website is missing some of this information, what you wanna do is go ahead and correct this now. And you must be selling physical products. So if you sell services like consulting, massages, and repairs, then you cannot use the Google Merchant Center. However, what you can use if you're a service-based business is the Google Business Profile, which is a free business listing for local businesses and helps your business appear on Google Search and Maps. Okay, so come down and click on Create a Google Merchant Center account. Then navigate up to Business Name and add your business name. Then come down and select the business country and then add your time zone down here and then navigate down. What other tools do you use? Go ahead and select other tools if you use them. Then navigate down all the way to the bottom and click I've read and agree to Google Merchant Center terms and conditions. You can click here to read more. Then navigate down and click on create account. Then simply navigate up to continue. And just like that, we've arrived inside the Google Merchant Center. Now, before we can list our products on Google so that they display for free, we want to navigate through the left-hand side and make sure that we complete some of these details. For example, if we click on Add Business Details, this is where you wanna take the time to add your business details. Then, once you've done that, navigate over to Verify and Claim Website. And this is where we need to verify our website address. The easiest way to do this is if you navigate down to verify your website and then click on see other methods and then choose verify with Google Analytics. Most likely you've already got Google Analytics connected with your website. If you don't, what I'll do is add a few different tutorials for different websites guiding you through the process of installing Google Analytics on your website. So go ahead and check those out. If you currently do not have Google Analytics installed on your website, then you can go ahead and verify through this method. Okay, so once you've verified and claimed your website, simply navigate over to Set Up Shipping. 
And under set up shipping, you want to navigate through the process of setting up shipping. Remember, you want to make sure that your shipping information is the same with the information you have on your website. Simply make sure that all this information is correct, your shipping service name. Then once you've added your shipping service name, come down and add the countries that you deliver your products to. So I'm just going to leave New Zealand for now. And then down here we have delivery location, which is at the customer's address. Then if we come down and click next, you can add your delivery time here. So go ahead and add your order cutoff time, handling time and transit time. Then once you've added those details, come down and click next. Then go ahead and select the options that you provide on your website. For example, if you provide free shipping for all your items, then go ahead and select free shipping. You also have these other options down here. I'm going to go ahead and click on save for now and then navigate over to add products. Then under add products, you have three options for adding products to your Google Merchant Center. You can add products from your website. This is when you claim your website. Remember, you can do that under verify and claim website. Next to that, we can add one product manually at a time, or you can add multiple products at once. I'm going to go ahead and click on add one product at a time. However, the fastest way to do this is to verify your website, claim your website, and then go ahead and add your products from your website. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and click on add one product at a time. Then here, simply come down and fill out your product information. Select the target country, the target language, as well as the destination. So we want this to be a free listing to appear across Google when customers are searching for our products. Then navigate down to website status. You're going to be asked to verify and claim your website URL again. Remember, this is an important step. However, for the purpose of today's tutorial, because we're using a test website, we're not going to verify our website. However, in order for you to save your products and to actually list your products on Google, you will need to verify and claim your website. Then navigate down to product identifiers. Here you can add a product identifier if you like. Then if we navigate down to product data, you can add in your product information. Here we have the stock keeping unit, the title of your product, the brand itself, the description of your product, and then the link to your product page, the landing page of your product. We can then come down and we have the option to add a image link or we can simply upload the image of our product. If we navigate down further, we have price and availability. Again, you want to make sure all this information is the same as the information listed on your website. Go ahead and add the price of your product and the availability, as well as further information about your product, like the condition, or if you have variants of the product. So if I click on, then you can see if you have attributes like colors, sizes, genders, or age groups for your product, then you can go ahead and add those options, those variations of your product. I'm going to navigate back up and turn that off. And then again, down here, we can go ahead and we can add our shipping services. Again, that's just going to take us back to set up shipping. Then when you're happy with all your product information, again, take the time to fill out this information, come down and click on save. What you can do if we navigate back up to the top is you want to add the title, the same title that displays on your website, as well as the description that you have on your product listing on your website. You want to have consistent information on your Google Merchant Center as well as on your website. Then once you've filled out all this information for your first product, simply come down and click save. Now I cannot save this page because I have not yet verified and claimed my website. Now, if I navigate up to Google policies, this is where you want to navigate through the Google policies. And then we have the final review down here. Okay, so this is the initial setup, the steps that you need to take in order to set up your Google Merchant Center. What we're going to do is navigate back and that's going to take us to our Google Merchant Center, our overview. This is where you can manage your listings. For example, if we navigate down here, we can see our performance of our free listings. So these are the number of clicks each day. Now, if you're yet to finish setting up your account, simply navigate over to continue to complete the steps that we just covered. And you can also see Google announcements over here. If we navigate over to products, and this is where you can view all your products that you've uploaded to the Google Merchant Center. You can also edit and add additional products. If we navigate down, we also have performance. If we click the drop down, 
We can view our dashboard as well as reports. And if we come down to growth and click this drop down, we can also view opportunities, manage programs and shopping experience scorecard. And that is how you can simply set up the Google Merchant Center so that you can list your products on Google completely for free. What I'll do is add a part two tutorial which will dive deeper into all the different features that you can use within your Google Merchant Center after you've listed your products and you wanna get more out of the Google Merchant Center. This tutorial is all about setting up the Google Merchant Center and getting your first products listed on Google. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Google Merchant Center tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.